Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great week. And as always, thanks to everybody that's subscribed. So I'm going to be listening to a track now by an artist called Mary Wilson. I've just been having a quick read of her uh, wiki page. And um, apparently she was a an actress and a model. Um, and I don't know this song at all, but it entered the UK um, top 40 on the 27th of August, 1977. And actually reached number four, so... Uh, I'm really kind of confused as to who she is. Um, also, it's just taken from, I think it was her one and only album, which was called First Take. And I think she's more well known for novelty songs. So I'm kind of thinking that this was probably a one hit wonder if it indeed reached number four, as it says. Um, but I don't, I don't, I've never heard of this before. I've never heard of this artist or this song telephone I, I remember vaguely remember telephone line by the electric light orchestra but not telephone man so and it's only one minute 58 seconds long um so i hope that it, it is really just a short song and not a song that has been uh, cropped and shortened um so this is actually taken from uh, I think it's a German version of or the Dutch version of Top of the Pops called Top Pops. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, so I listened to uh, Mary Wilson, uh, Telephone Line and Telephone Man and I hope this doesn't get blocked either. So uh, yeah, let's click play and see what um, this artist has to offer. Okay, so is that blurry? Oh. I rented my apartment on a Monday at one I sing and do lolly lolly shaky bum shaky bum Started moving in it on a Tuesday at two I sing and do lolly lolly shaky do shaky do Wednesday at three I called the phone company Singing hey baby put a phone in for me Thursday at four he came and knocking at my door Singing hey baby I'm your telephone And you just show me where you want it and I'll put it where I can. I can put it in the bedroom, I can put it in the hall, I can put it in the bathroom, I can hang it on the wall. You can have it with the bush, you can have it with the ring, and if you really want it, you can have a ding-a-ling. Because, hey baby, I'm your telephone man. Can't believe that. And then he says, no one other fellow's got you. Okay, I'm going to hold it right there. I'm getting the feeling that this song is... No, is no euphemism's the wrong word. Um, is this a song that's like has double entendres in? It's... Yeah, um, I didn't know where this song was going at first, but it seems kind of really quirky. And uh, yeah, if 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 I think it's like talking about singing about what I think she's singing about, then. I'm just actually aghast that um, the, this one slipped under the radar of the BBC. Uh, yeah. Tell them how it all began. Well. You tell them how it all began. Well. Can you imagine? My heart began to thump and my mind began to fly. And I knew I wasn't dealing with no ordinary guy. So while he was a talking, I was thinking of my plan. Okay, um, that's not what I expected. Um, I probably should have expected that when I read that she uh, made novelty songs and that and that she made a whole album on the back of this song. 
So, but I, I'm still really astounded that something like this would have slipped through the net of the BBC server, it would have got played. Um, there's been a few controversial songs in the UK charts over the years. Some have completely slipped under the radar and some have uh, when they and some which when they've been found to be a little bit dodge, they are immediately sort of banned. Uh, I think I remember the Sex Pistols being Sex Pistols was it uh, God Save the Queen? Uh, that was one that was wasn't played, and also uh, for a while um, they didn't play Frankie Goes to Hollywood to Relax. But yeah, uh, I mean, because this song seems like such a fun song, it may be they thought, well, the innocence of having, um, of the sound of this song and the vibe of this song, maybe it, because it's not explicit, maybe it's, um, it appeals, it will appeal to kids, knowing that it's just about a telephone man putting telephones into a pump. And it will appeal to the savvy adults who kind of read between the lines and see the... So I guess it's quite a clever sort of marketing thing for her to actually make a song like this. Um, I'm not sure if she wrote it or not, but uh, um, yeah, it's just fun. It's uh, like a little fun song. And um, I, I, don't, I don't remember this. I... I can't, I can't even believe that I wouldn't have heard this in 1977 because it's the kind of childish song that I may have kind of picked up on but uh, as I was only 10 years old but uh, yeah yeah well that was uh, sort of a pleasantly strange odd amusing um, surprise for me today uh, guys let me know what you think um, Christ let me know if you if you remember this because um, yeah, I, I, I don't, and uh, if you know anything more about this uh, this singer, um, Mary Wilson, uh, not to be confused with, I think, Mary Wilson, um, and at first when I saw the name, I thought, yeah, I know who she is because it's um, she had a couple of hits in the um, early 80s, but it's, it's a, that's a different person. So, yeah, anyway, join me in the comments below if you have anything... Um, Anything interesting to say about this song or the artist? Um, yeah, till next time, take care of yourselves.